to address the issues facing Tennesseans today. From 10 News, this is Inside Tennessee. Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator, John Becker. Oh, the drama continues at the State House in Nashville. Yet another twist with Glenn Cassida bowing to political pressure and saying he will step down from his powerful post as Speaker. Here to sort out what is next are three lawmakers from the Knoxville area. Democrat Gloria Johnson is with us and also Republicans Jason Zachary and Bill Dunn. We appreciate all of you being here. Thank Good you. Good morning. I'm going to introduce our panel and get to questions. On the end there is Billy Stair. He runs his own consulting firm and happens to be a Democrat. Good morning. Good morning. Susan Richardson Williams runs her own PR firm. She is a Republican. Happy Memorial Day. Indeed. We're in the midst of it and John North is my colleague at WBIR. Good morning. Good morning. Representative Dunn, let's start with you. Right now, you are Speaker Pro Tem in the House. Would you <clears throat> be interested in becoming the Speaker of the House permanently? Right. Well, as Speaker Pro Tem, um, when Speaker Cassida resigns, then by the rules, I would become the acting Speaker until we can have an election. So obviously, for at least that period of time, I would be acting as a Speaker. Um, still trying to sort everything out. Um, in my political career, I usually ask myself, where can you do the most good? Uh, a lot of people say, oh, well, as Speaker, you've got the most power. Uh, but sometimes you're not telling, I think they'll agree, you're not telling 98 people what to do. You've got 98 people telling you what to do. And so I've always valued my independence on what I need to do. But I understand it's an opportunity. Uh, right now, there's a lot of chaos in the House. And so we're all talking to each other, and we'll come to a resolution. Former Governor Bill Haslam said you'd make a great speaker. <laughs> well, us bills stick together, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so is it something that you would consider permanently? Well, I, I'm, I'm considering it, mm -hmm. and I know other people are considering it. I know within the Republican caucus we have a deep bench. There's, there's several people who could step up and do it. And, and I'm not trying to avoid the question. I'm telling you, as of today, uh, I'm, I'm doing research. You know, instead of just saying I'm running for speaker, I'm actually asking talking to people who have worked in the speaker's office say what does a day look like how much travel is there uh, you know a lot of people probably don't know how many people you appoint to boards and commissions so to make a decision I want to gather the facts of what I'm going to do does my skill set fit that and then is it something that I can do with fire in my belly are we any closer to a timeline on the transition speaker Cassida has said June 3rd he's back from a vacation and he'll talk about when he will indeed give up that post um, do you have a sense of when you may meet as a legislative body? Is it going to be this summer? Or what, when will that happen? Well, on June 3rd, when he's back in the country, I think that's when we'll, we'll have a conversation. And there'll be leadership, both uh, Republicans and Democrats, getting together to say, oh, you know, let's look at our calendars and see when this will be. Uh, but it's, it's very interesting in that the way the speaker term is set up, he could even be removed from the House and he would still be considered the speaker. And so he still has power and leverage on, on how he wants this to play out. But I would hope that he would uh, consider what's best for Tennessee and, and make it sooner rather than later. I used to work in the Speaker's office, so I'll follow up <laughs> okay. on that question. Uh, I think most people would agree that the next Speaker, whoever it is, needs to restore confidence both among the public and, and in the members. I assume you'll behave, but what other two or three things do you think need to be done to restore that confidence? Well, I mean, I, I, I have my faults, too. I, I'm Catholic. I go to confession, and it's not to talk sports. So, uh, but uh, I, I'm not really sure what... There's got to be healing within the body also, because what this did is tore people apart and saying, well, we're, we're for the speaker, we're not for the speaker, and people had different takes on why they were for or not for. And I think uh, having a, a leadership race is not going to help things. But, you know, one nice thing is we are out of session. So as soon as we take care of this, people can go back into their districts where they need to be talking to their constituents, uh, going to events, reconnecting with the people who sent them down there, and, and re-energizing themselves so when we go back into January to, to take on the, the bills that will be there waiting for us. Well, uh, Bill, explain the process. I mean, the gov governor can call a special session, obviously, and the House itself can also call a special session. Is that something you all would do sooner rather than later? If he resigns, let's say, June 5th, how long will you wait? And maybe Jason and Gloria, that's an answer you two might want to weigh in on as well. How, how imminent will a session come or will they allow you to serve until January? 
I will be advocating for it to be as soon as possible. I think it's very clear, and as Representative Dunn was saying, letting that healing begin. We've got to restore faith, Tennesseans' faith, that um, you know we're going to get rid of the corruption that is taking place and the racism and the sexism. That is something we can't sit on and wait a while until the speaker decides to step down. That's something we've got to get moving on, in my opinion. And I think it's important to remember, too, that one person's actions, even if he's the Speaker of the House, does not reflect the body as a whole. We saw on both sides of the aisle, we serve with, I serve with men and women of integrity who are there to serve their constituents who make very little money, and it really is just about service. And so it's important to remember, again, it may be the Speaker and it's one person's actions, as egregious as they may be, it doesn't reflect the body as a whole. So I think one thing, to answer your question, Billy, that you asked uh, Speaker Pro Tem Dunn, is he brings a steadying and a calming factor. Um, there's probably not one person, I would say, on either side of the aisle that doesn't trust Speaker Dunn and uh, his ability to lead, his methodical approach. Uh, he is approachable. He would go in and provide some consistency and a steadiness. And based on the, the, the mess of the last three weeks, I think we need that. And I think he's the perfect person to provide that uh, once Speaker Cassidy steps down. And I do agree with Gloria. And I see I said it. I agree with Gloria. <laughs> that, Words that, I never thought I'd Yeah, ever. imagine that, that I, uh, sooner rather than later. And I agree completely because we need to put this behind us. These, for these last three weeks, have marred the great things that we did for Tennessee um, and I think it has brought a little unity maybe on both sides of the aisle because I think m the majority of us completely disagree with everything that happened and are ready for a fresh start. If I could ask a follow-up question on that, there's some uncertainty as to whether Speaker Cassida agreed to step down as Speaker or resign from the House. What are your opinions about what should happen? On My understanding is is he is stepping down from a speaker. Personally, I believe he needs to leave the body. It's my understanding as well. He's going to be stepping down as speaker, um, and it's up to his, the people in his district about whether he leaves the body or not. Your understanding, Representative? Yeah, similar to that. I did not talk to him, but obviously for speaker, he said, I'm going to resign, and he left it at that. So. There seem to be some that want him to leave, and I was, that's what I was probing for. I've heard yeah. various yeah. members say. On both that. sides of the aisle, right. there are people asking that he completely step down from his position as a representative. We'll continue with this uh, subject when we come back on Inside Tennessee. Stay with us.